Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to Tuesday morning prayer for the 19th of May. Tuesday morning prayer is found on page 396 of the prayer book, and our psalm today, this morning, is Psalm 45, which is found on page 268. <clears throat> we will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, and raised us up with him, and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 45. My heart is astir with fine phrases. I make my song for a king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. You are the fairest of men. Grace flows from your lips. Therefore has God blessed you forever and ever. Gird your sword upon your thigh, O mighty warrior. In glory and majesty, tread down your foes and triumph. Ride on in the, in the cause of truth and for the sake of justice. Your right hand shall teach a terrible instruction. People shall fall beneath you. Your arrows shall be sharp in the hearts of the king's enemies. Your throne is the throne of God. It endures forever. And the scepter of your kingdom is a righteous scepter. You have loved righteousness and hated evil. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. All your garments are fragrant with myrrh, aloes, and cassia. Music from ivory palaces makes you glad. King's daughters are among your noble women. The queen is at your right hand in gold of Ophir. Hear, O daughter, consider and incline your ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. The king desires your beauty. He is your Lord, therefore bow down before him. The richest among the people, O daughter of Tyre, shall entreat your favour with gifts. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is embroidered cloth of gold. In robes of many colours she is led to you, O king. And after her, the virgins that are with her. They are led with gladness and rejoicing. They enter the palace of the king. In place of your fathers, you shall have sons and make them princes over all the land. And I will make known your name to every generation. Therefore, the peoples shall give you praise forever. Lord our God, our creator, redeemer and sanctifier, we ask you to cleanse us from all hypocrisy, to unite us to our fellow men and women by the bonds of peace and love, and to confirm us in holiness now and forever. Amen. Our reading this morning comes from John's Gospel, chapter 14, beginning at verse 18. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me. But you will see me because I live. You also will live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father. And I will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not Iscariot said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us 
and not to the world. Jesus answered him, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the well gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you love me, you would rejoice that I am going to, to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this because before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me. But I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us be on our way. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Eternal God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life, grant that we may walk in his way, rejoice in his truth and share his risen life who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, we offer up prayer to you this day for our diocese and for our bishops, Peter, Sonia and Charlie. We offer prayer for those uh, within our diocese, the first peoples of this diocese, especially the Awabakal, the Birupai, the Dark and Young, the Gurungai, the Giwagal, the Kamilaroi, the Waramai, and the Wanarua peoples. We think of elders past, present, and emerging. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our partners in the gospel, the Diocese of Guadalcanal and the Solomon Islands. We pray also for the leaders of our nation, our Prime Minister Scott Morrison and our Premier Gladys Berejiklian. We pray for the public service, those who are working in essential industries at this time, and indeed those who are affected by the COVID-19 virus, their families and their friends. We pray for all healthcare professionals, particularly mindful uh, of nurses and doctors, those at the front line of COVID-19. We think of those behind the scenes who are researching and developing treatments and cures. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In our diocese, we offer up prayer for the clergy and people of all parishes. But we especially think this day of the parish of Terrigal, the Camden Haven, the Entrance and Tootley. We also uphold in prayer hospital chaplains and the staff and volunteers 
at the Newcastle, Hunter Region and Central Coast Hospitals for their patients. And we also remember in our prayer the Society of St. Francis. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And loving God, we give thanks for the furtherance of eased restrictions, praying that common sense will prevail and that liberties won't be taken as many embrace the advantage. We pray for patient endurance, knowing full well there is yet some way to go in dealing with this virus. We thank you for our politicians, for their leadership and their measured response to our media's questioning and enlightening us as needs be. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Despite the uncertainty of many at this time, loving God, we pray that the coronavirus might give us pause to take stock of our lives and, when necessary, adjust our priorities to truly reflect our faith and trust in you. Allay our doubts and fears amidst the challenges that beset us. Kindle our hope and let grief give way to joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for healing in this broken world and we commend to your loving care all in sorrow, sickness, discouragement or any other adversity. We particularly remember the homeless poor, the lonely, the elderly and all vulnerable people. Bring healness, healing and wholeness and restoration to life as intended by you. Grant us patience and a firm trust in your goodness. We commend to your keeping the souls of the faithful departed. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and may light perpetual shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. May the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen.